I got out of bed embarrassingly late today. I went for a long midnight walk last night. Whoops. Chris decided he'd wake up about one o'clock in the morning. He hadn't been out all day, so we went for a walk like in the dark around some pikey houses. Bev stayed asleep. She got some nice sleep. You can see where the pikeys are from, from our house. They're just over the corner down there. There's loads of smoke there at the moment. Dodgy bunch of travellers. I'll show you if I'm passing. In one of my earlier vlogs, I visited that run-down building over there where all the pikeys and travellers have taken over that area. There's loads of caravans and dogs and people and kids. It's, uh, it's quite scary, actually. And Chris and I walked past it yesterday, about, I don't know, we were about 20 metres away from it. One dog barked, and with that one dog bark, another dog barked as well with it. And by the end, about 10 different dogs were going, woo, 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 woo. What an alarm system. We need to get away from that at the moment anyway, so we're off to Asda to get some milk. I'm hungry. And if you're really lucky, I'll walk you past the gypsy camp. I might go introduce myself and take a few photos of them, portraits and stuff. People will love that, wouldn't they? Yeah. Wow, well, we've not been in Asda for like two months. It looks exactly the same. It's funny how what we buy always starts out so very healthy. Bichetta, tomatoes, yeah. Bev decided she wanted me to make a world famous bruschetta and tomatoes. I'm not sure which bread to use at the moment though. Shut up, noisy boy. I doubt you'll find anything nicer than tiger bread. Look at the state of how healthy all that is. Christ. Everything apart from Bev's cereal. Oh, Bev, this car needs a clean. We shouldn't have parked it under my dad's tree, should we? Uh, look at the state of the roof. Bev just suggested that we treat you guys to a car wash a bit later on. If you're lucky. Everyone loves car washes. <laughs> We're back home again and you can smell something burning. They've got a bonfire over there or something. Christopher Gallagher, you've got mail. It was his birthday the other day, you remember, so that's probably what it is, a card or something. If you go up to the second floor, you can see him. Not that much to see though, really. We're best just leaving them be, hope none of them come around here and kill us and they move on and keep the place tidy. Would you like me to make lunch? Yeah. <laughs> I'm chopping the onions, so I'm gonna be crying soon, I should think. It's all just got a bit too much for me, really. <laughs> Only takes a few onions to sell it off, doesn't it, really? Yeah, freshly sliced tiger bread, gorgeous tomato and onion. We've got French salad and uh, balsamic vinegar. It probably looks a bit daft, but it tastes like heaven. Oh. Is that any good? That was oh, I've got all proper whip bread now. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Oh, okay. Remember while we were abroad, Beverly didn't feel very well. Well, she's still not 100%, so we've got to go to the doctors right now to get her fixed. <laughs> Do you like my corduroy jacket? Mm. Why are you mad, though? We're not quite sure where the GP is, but we're going to have to find it now. Everybody tell Bev to get better soon, right now. Get better soon, Bev. There's a surgery called Bellevue in Newport. We've just found that at the moment. I'm looking for someone to part while she goes in and fills out the paperwork. I guess it's the risk you take when you're travelling aboard. You can pick up some virus and get ill or stuff. Here we are, Bellevue. Hello. Got an appointment booked for Thursday. Can you hold on till then? Just a little side note on the way back home. Did you know the transporter bridge in Newport's open? We're gonna to have to visit that and show you what it's all about. Pretty sure it will probably win the prize for the rubbishest tourist attraction on earth. 
but we're still going to have a look at it. Do you want to go on the transporter bridge in Newport? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's it there, that thing. Look at the state of it. Chris and Cara have gone to see it today. Apparently you're allowed to go across it now. It's the most bizarrely constructed bridge I've ever seen. It carries tourists across on a bridge by cables. Very silly. I'll let you go back inside as long as you promise not to moan that we have to wait till Thursday and you don't need to see a doctor today. Okay, if you let me beat you at chess. <laughs> Have some chocolate, you div. Go on, beat me then. We're literally having the longest game ever. This has been two hours now. Checkmate. Uh, babe, I wouldn't be so upset. You played like an absolute gangster. Sun's going down, I reckon it's car wash time. Yeah? yeah. Good. That's another rather splendid sky. We get great views here. I like it here, Bev. I don't want to move. Babe, today's been the most unfunniest video ever. Can you apologise to people? I'm sorry, it's been a very unfunny video today. I've not been through a car wash for years. And we've got no idea where the nearest one is, so we're just going to drive around and look, look at petrol stations and stuff. We found a car wash at Tesco's, but it doesn't look very good. I'm going to go in and ask. Uh, is the car wash open? Uh, it should it's not be. Working, it's not working. Okay. Rubbish. We don't get to have a car wash. It's all I wanted today. Today's video is just going to get boringer and boringer. Turn off. There's only one thing for it, and that's chocolate. So we're going to go to Tesco's. All the time I've lived in Newport, I've never been to the 24-hour Tesco. And I'm sure you guys couldn't care less. Thou shall not buy Mars products, or thou shall not buy Nestle products. Uh -uh. Error. Go on then, you miserable old bint. Eat it. Mm -hmm. I know like chocolate is a girl's best friend, but never have I seen the effect on a girl as with Bev. <laughs> she is such a pleb. It makes her a bit aggressive as well. She's got something to say. Stu Weston, Danny Bizzle, I'm going to get you for what you did to my car. <laughs> Bald headed twat. <laughs> Sorry, I've never seen her like that before. We're sat here at the moment deciding whether to go see Toy Story 3 or not. It's on at 20 past 9, which means I worked out. The adults are interested in it too, because kids aren't going to go and see a 20 past 9 film, are they? Especially not on a school night. What do you think, babe? We have to go in about an hour. Get out of your mouth. <laughs> this is a message for Gemma Tremedio. Are you watching this? When are you coming back up here? It doesn't feel right bullying Bev. <laughs> Come on, baby, eat up and we'll go and see Toy Story, yeah? Make up for no car wash? Mm. Good. Remember yesterday I went up to see photo marathon stuff and I got that certificate, I put it up on the wall. Yeah, I've stuck that with sellotape, not bad, eh? Topic winner. And something else, you know Dave came round yesterday, he brought me a present. Ha 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 ha. A pathetic little barbecue. Thank you very, very much, Dave. Will we use that? Anyone's welcome round? Everyone knows already I don't eat meat, but we can have vegetable kebabs on it or something. Bananas and tinfoil with Mars bar chunks. Bye-bye, mm. <laughs> guys. We're about to tuck in some to Toy Story. The sky's only gone and gotten nicer. Oh. Bev, stop taking photos and get in the car. I love living so close to the cinema. The only thing is, it's a rubbish cinema and they only show blockbuster films, none of the little cool independents. Here we are, Cine World. Lots of people here. Toy Story, but not the 3D one. 3D's rubbish. Move out of the way, kids. I've been waiting 10 years to see this. <laughs> 